Hey y'all, I hope that y'all are having an amazing day. I wanted to come on and share uh, my go-to makeup look with y'all today. So we are going to hop in to this tutorial to show you how I achieved this makeup look. C cannot wait to show you how I did so. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and leave me a comment below. Okay, let's get this party started. All right, so as always, I'm going to start off with my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. And I'm going to dab a little under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, above my lip and my chin. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend all of that out. Now, sometimes people will put their foundation on first um, and then their concealer or highlighter. But personally, I like to do um, my concealer and highlighter first. I love how it sits on my skin and uh, it just does exactly what I need for it to do when I put it on first, but it's really just a personal preference. Now that that's nice and blended, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous Foundation in shade 810. Um, I'm about to have to move back to shade 805 because my winter skin is starting to come through and this is almost getting too dark. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out as well with my Beauty Blender. You wanna make sure not to put too, too much on or else you get like an excess of product and it's really hard to blend out an excess of product. I know that a lot of people will put like a ton on their face. More power to you. I just have a hard time blending it out when it's a lot. And I'm sure that this probably looks like a lot of it. I promise it's not a lot. <laughs> Beautiful. So now we're going to go on with our CoverGirl True Blend Press Powder in the shade Translucent Fair, I believe. Yes, Translucent Fair. And then we're just going to cover the face in the powder. I like to put on my matte setting powder before I do anything else because I don't really, I don't do the whole baking thing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pat this powder in, make sure that everything is blended. I love this formula. I love the color. Next, I'm going to move on to my bronzer, blush and highlight, and I'm going to start off in my Pixie by Petra Sheer Sunshine. Whoops. <laughs> Sheer Sunshine. Try saying that five times fast. Glow palette, and I'm going to jump into this color, bronzed. And then I'm also going to use suntan for my highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fluffy little brush, dip into that, and lightly just start coming down and blending it out for my bronzer slash contour. I'm still using powder contours, as you can see. I've been at this for, what, a couple of years. I'm still using... Uh, powder contours. They're just easier to blend for me. Um, for a while, I was trying out a liquid contour and I just couldn't ever get it to sit or blend right. So I'm still working with powder. So just go ahead and get that nice and blend it out. Oh yeah, we're so chiseled. Sorry, I got cut off short in that last one. I had a little minion that needed some assistance. So now I'm going to go on with my highlighter and just kind of in circular motions go up my cheekbone. Everybody does it differently. Everybody puts different amounts on. I kind of just like, you know, a simple 
added glow. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start out with my Milani Bold Obsessions palette. Again, it is nasty because I've had it for a long time and I constantly use it. And we're going to use the Sweet as Honey color to start out. So I like to go in with a flat blended brush and I want to go ahead and start with my crease. So I'm just gonna get right here. I'm gonna lay the color kind of in swiping motions and then in circular motions, I'm going to blend it upward. This is my go-to transition color since we're kind of doing my go-to makeup today. This is my go-to transition color. Also taking that same shade and going under the bottom. Just getting that in there and blending it out. I'm then going to jump into the color Blazing Hot just to kind of set that transition color a little bit and make it a bit deeper toward the crease. So I'm gonna keep this warmth going, but I wanna focus on the crease portion. So I'm going to start by tapping just to set that color where I want it. And then I'm gonna blend it just a smidgy more small circular motions going into the corner of my eye and coming out Next, i'm going to grab that same color and again come under my eye blending it out okay, so next we're going to hop into my gilded jade palette by milani again i use this one a ton ignore the mess and we are going to use the colors aura and edible so that is this color and this color. Firstly, I wanna go ahead and cover my lid and I'm just gonna use my finger to just kinda of get the look that I want. And after brushing it off, I'm going to go back into that same color, use that same brush and come underneath my brow line. I'm also going to use that color and I'm going to come into the corner just to add a little bit of highlight. Now jumping into edible, I'm going to take my other brush and I'm going to start setting my crease. Just in patting motions, just getting that color where I want it to kind of add some depth and drama. Grabbing a little bit more color, I'm going to pat and then I'm going to start blending it. So I'm going to use a swipe in circular motion just to kind of bring that color out a little bit. Going back to Old Faithful, I'm going to get back up in here and really blend that out. Using the same brush and color, I'm going to go underneath my eyes, just on the outer corner. Just to add a little bit of depth. And for the final touch, I'm going to go back into my Bold Obsessions palette and I'm going to go into my Brunettes Have Fun color just to add a little bit more uh, depth and drama to the corner of my eyes. Going back to our crease brush, just going to gently dab and pat on the corner and up into the crease of my eye. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Linear Intense Liquid Liner. It's so hard to do on camera, but we're gonna see what we can do. Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus liner in Espresso to line my waterline. Thankfully this is much easier to do on camera. Going back in with my crease brush, we're going to smudge all that out. Just to get it nice and smoky. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express for mascara. I really like this stuff because it kind of has a building effect, which is really great for mascara. 
now that we are done with the eyes, we're going to move on to the lips. So I'm actually going to go back into my eyeliner because I have not been to the store lately and don't have any lip liner. Uh, so I'm going to gently just kind of go underneath my lip, just right in the center. Just a really soft line. You don't want to go too hard. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top in my Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm actually going to blend that out. I'm going to blend out the bottom portion. And this just kind of is an easy technique to help your lips look a little bit fuller. And then I'm going to blend out the top as well. Now that we are nice and blended, I'm going to go in with my Milani Matte Satin Lip Cream in the shade Lavish Sum 2 and go ahead and get that applied to the lips. And I really love this stuff. It's one of my favorites. It goes on so well and stays on forever. Now to finish off the lips, I'm going to use my Amore Shine Lip Gloss by Milani in the shade Charming. And we are just going to lightly apply that. Then this stuff is really great because it lasts. You don't have to be constantly reapplying it. And it smells so good. And there you have it, a super easy go-to look. I really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and share with your friends. I hope that you all have a blessed day and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.